For today's beading lesson, let's talk about stretchy bracelets because there are a couple of different ways that you can make them. Take a look at these. This one here uses a slider. So this is a double strand piece that you can use to make a quick double strand bracelet. And this one, of course, is your simpler stretchy bracelet. And I'll show you how to knot the ends on that one. So that's one, uh, one technique that most people are familiar with is knotting the ends. Let's start out with that. And we'll talk a little bit about to the stretchy cord because it does come in three different sizes and it also comes in different colors so that you can coordinate that to the jewelry that you're making. And what's important about choosing your size is the whole size in your beads. Just like with any other type of stringing material, you wanna use the largest cord that will pass through your bead holes. So here I have already strung all of my beautiful rondelles and I have some faceted beads here and some bead caps. And now I'm just going to tie a surgeon's knot. A surgeon's knot is like a square knot, but you actually make an extra wrap through that loop. So pretend you're tying your shoes and tie a half knot to start, and then go in the other direction with your opposite end. So this time I'm going to cross through the loop, and then I'm going to go through there twice. That's a surgeon's knot. And then you can pull this tight. And one little tip for making stretchy bracelets is stretch the whole thing. When you're tying the knot, Tie your knot, but also pull the ends of the bracelet. So it's kind of a four part pull here. And you, I'm pulling the ends and the bracelet all at the same time. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of jeweler cement. You can use um, any type of jeweler cement that dries clear and is flexible. Never use a super glue type of glue on your stretchy bracelets. And then of course you can trim off your extra ends or you could add little beads here to the end and make a decorative element. Now for the double strand design, what's a little bit different about that, of course, is you have two strands passing through the back of your slider. And here I'm using the satin gold color because it kind of matches with my antique brass findings. And then I have six millimeter round beads and my eight millimeter rondelles. And the way that you measure this is to, before you get started, you can take your ones that are still attached to your package and just wrap it around your wrist and see if that size is about right. So that's what I did and it actually is pretty close. So then I just recreated this distance in between the two sliders using my combination of six millimeter and eight millimeter beads. If you wanted to add some other spacer beads of course in here, you could do that. I would just recommend that you keep them within two millimeters of each other. So maybe four, six and eight instead of just the six and eight that I have here. Now you can also crimp the ends of stretch cord. And that's kind of a new technique because in the past it's been, um, you know, it's con been considered kind of dangerous for your stretchy cord to use metal. But now you can use these longer crimp tubes and they're also wider so that they can accommodate your stretchy cord. So what you'll do for, a bracelet, for this bracelet is bring your ends. I have my stopper here so that my other strand doesn't slide out, but I can be sure that everything is evenly spaced. Now I'm bringing my ends together and I'm actually going to crimp it at the back of this slider here so that that crimp is hidden in the, in the pattern. It doesn't stand out in the design. Oops, so I need to bring this end through the slider here and then attach my crimp. And just like any other kind of crimping, you match your crimping tool to the size of crimp that you're using. So for this one, I need the larger size of crimp tube. Now, you wanna be a little bit careful here where you gather up the ends so that your bracelet isn't too tight when you go to wear it. So again, I'm just pulling the end here to create not too much tension, but everything is, um, everything is tight, snug, I guess I should say. So crimp with your outside and then your inside, just like we always do, and then fold it over using the outer notches on the tool. Just pick this up and fold it like this. And then we'll do the same technique on the other strand. So now I can remove my bead stopper and then pass it through the back of the slider and then get my crimp tube here. And then I'm going to crimp this end as well. And then you can see how our bracelet is coming together here. All right, so see how it all stands up? So now what you can do is at this point, you'll want to come in with your crimping tool 
Again, outer. So be sure to pull this tight here. And then crimp this in the inner jaws and the outer jaws. And then you can trim off your extra ends. And you have a beautiful bracelet that only took you a few minutes to make.